This is Ronald Jr. back at you with another review and a very disappointing review that is. Um, it has some pretty good reviews on Amazon, but it, in real life, the reviews, in my opinion, they're lies. Uh, we're going to be talking about the BC guitar. The BC guitar. All right. It's a beautiful guitar, um, but it has some serious, serious problems. Um, the neck needs shimmed. When I got it, the neck needs shimmed automatically. That's, I, I just knew it needed shimmed. Um, now, surprisingly, the fret work was really, really good. It only had three or four high frets. So I just went ahead and did a, uh, I leveled them out, then I crowned them, and did a polish. So that's good. They don't rattle anymore. It don't, don't, it don't do anything wicked like that. So uh, I lowered the action by a lot, a lot, a lot. As you can see, it has the cheese grater screw sticking up because they're so long. Um, the action is super low now. Had to file down the nut. Um, it has a satin finish on the neck. It feels like it ain't even, don't even have anything in it. Just feels like a dry neck. Um, the neck itself is wavy. It's very, very wavy, right? You can feel it. Like it's just, it's, it's just not, it's not that good. For the price that you're paying for this guitar, this guitar is horrible. The, if, if you go back on my channel and look at the, the $60 eBay guitar that I got, it is 10 times better than this thing. I'm telling you, 10 times better than this thing. This has really poor quality. And mine is made out of basswood, right? The, 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 the $60 one. This one is made out of plywood. And it must have a veneer on the top to make it look like that. Made out of plywood, fairly heavy. Um, the tuners are really, really, really bad. It has vintage style tuners. Um, not even going to plug it in and play it because it don't sound that great. It just sounds like a cheap guitar. And if you noticed, it's a smaller version. This is a beginner guitar. As you can see, it's shortened. It's smaller. Um, that's just the way it is. It's just a learner's guitar. Um, the thing that cracks me up, this is supposed to be a learner's guitar. This, this makes you want to play guitar. Um, so your parents go out and buy this for like a hundred and some dollars. It comes with an amplifier and all this stuff. This is a beginner's guitar. Guitar. Um, okay, this makes you want to play when you get it. This, that, this guitar made me sick. The action was so high off the neck. I don't know how anybody could ever play this guitar. Um, it was set up horribly. Um, it just feels horribly. The neck is not consistent at all. This, this neck is horrible. I mean, horrible. I don't know what factory these coming out of. It's just, it's you can tell. It's just uneven. It's not sanded right. There's no serial number on it, which that doesn't matter. But the neck, it just bothers me, right? It just really bothers me. Um, the sound doesn't matter when you're a learner, but what matters is it needs to be comfortable. It needs to be playable. And this guitar out of the box is not playable. It's, it's It never will be playable unless you actually do work. And here's the problem I have with this guitar. Your mom and dad's gonna buy this for you. You probably got one for Christmas, right? The action's so high. Your mom and dad ain't gonna know what to do. You're not gonna know what to do. You're gonna have to go pay a tech 60 bucks. Here in West Virginia, it's like 60 bucks to get this set up. What they're gonna do is call you and they're gonna say, hey, this thing needs a fret job, this thing's a cheap guitar, and it's not worth putting money into. Um, and you, you're going to say, well, I bought it for him for Christmas. And, and chances are you're going to say you're going to go ahead and do a fret job and stuff. Just depends where you're at, how much people charge. $100 to $200 to get a fret job done. You know, just depends. Like people say, oh, well, that shouldn't cost that much. That's just how it is in life. So you got way more in, in this guitar than it's worth. You could have bought a Fender guitar, a lower end Fender guitar for what you have in this guitar. Um, and right out of the box play it. Yes, I know lower end Fenders get hate, but I actually have a Fender uh, Affinity, uh, actually a Fender Squire Affinity series that is amazing. I don't know if I got a, a lucky one, a fluke or something, but it's amazing. I, I did a little bit of fret work, but out of the box, the, the neck and everything was perfect. It was like my favorite guitar. The, the hardware, um, the way it sounds, it sounds just like a Strat. This just sounds like a really deep, you know, just like a cheap guitar. and. It's supposed to be a learner's guitar. It ain't supposed to sound like a Strat. Um, it has fake rosewood. 
that's probably maple it is stained I did wipe the excess stain off um, but I got this guitar playing pretty good this guitar will play as good as it'll play it, it's I don't like doing bad reviews but I'm just so ate up by the way the neck feels it's it's not consistent but I finally got it You can actually play the thing now. It doesn't. It doesn't kill your your wrist to press down on it. Cause like before, it was like you had to press really hard. Um, so I would stay away from this guitar. Um, this is not a guitar to even buy uh, to upgrade because it's not a full size guitar. It's like a it's a learner's guitar, right? Uh, uh, you're just like, well, that's what you always buy anyway. But this is a little bit smaller. This this is not a guitar for this channel. I just wanted to. To review this guitar and show you guys that this stay that don't waste your money because what they're selling this guitar for is not worth it this guitar should be sold for like 20 30 bucks um, because the $60 guitar go back and watch that video where I upgraded it and everything go back and watch that video you'll see how amazed I am of the quality of that guitar I don't know where this guitar is coming from but whoever's buying them whoever's leaving the review got to be paid off and it's just it's just it's not a very good guitar it's just I understand where people come from when they I understand some of the higher youtubers that re, you know get these guitars and review them I understand where they're coming from when it comes to a guitar like this this is your kids not going to want to play this if you give this to your kid and you bought it for him for Christmas and you don't have it set up because this was not set up I think the intonation was in that was about it uh, they're not gonna they're gonna quit because the action's so high. I know I keep saying that, but in the nut, the nut height, the nut height was just as high as the peg on the headstock. Like it was, I never seen, it's just crazy. And, and they're not gonna stick with it. So parents, either go look at YouTube reviews and find out what cheap guitar is good to buy for your kids, or just go ahead and buy a lower end Fender. That's my recommendation. Because when you're buying something like this, I'm, I'm really disappointed. This is the budget guitars that you need to stay away from. And another thing, the frets are hard. They don't have the cheap frets. They has actually pretty solid frets, but they're like micro frets. I thought the frets came from like the early times when they had the wee little ones. These are what these are. These are the littlest, <laughs> the littlest frets I've ever seen, right? It's just horrible. It's, um, it's hard to string because it's it, it's just not very good it, it's not a for what they're selling for this is not this is not worth it so I just wanted to make this review and show you guys um, is it worth it now can, can, can somebody play this now yes it's worth it now like I set it up you know like I said I did the fret leveling the crowning and the polishing and set it up make sure everything was right everything's easy to play totally um, Somebody can learn on this guitar. Somebody can learn and do riffs and, and play with people with this guitar and, and everything. It's not going to be a problem now because wood doesn't matter right now um, and all that stuff. They're just trying to learn how to play and they need to be comfortable as possible. And that's the way I made this guitar. I made it comfortable as possible. And if it's comfortable for me, it's going to be comfortable for them um, because I know what's not comfortable. And uh, like I said, I loaded the action as good as I can get it and set it up perfect for them so they can learn. Yes, if you have somebody do a lot of work, if you know somebody in your family that can do this stuff for free and is really good at it, yeah, it's totally. If, you, if your kid wants to play, send the guitar to them, they'll fix it up for them. But if you don't know what you're doing, your parents don't know what you're doing, steer away from this budget guitar. Uh, it just says BC. It just says BC guitar. They sell them on Amazon. Uh, I recommend, no, I don't recommend buying them at all. Body's made out of plywood. The neck's made out of a two before, I think, it's, and it feels like a really crappy one. Um, <laughs> if you guys want to know what a, a, a great beginner guitar would, just comment below, ask, and I'll let you know. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this review. I didn't really enjoy it that much. I'm not even going to bother plugging this thing in. I don't even want to play it. So, <laughs> disappointing. Really disappointing for what they ask for these. So, I mean, you can see, you can just see in the, wow, that, that's ridiculous. You can just see... In the light how crappy this neck is like it I've never seen a neck so crappy in my life <laughs> all right so I hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up hit the like button I'll see you guys next time